Did you know the police can legally lie to you? I'm Eliza Orleans, career public defender here in Manhattan for the last 14 years. All right, let's talk about police deception. First, I'm gonna give you five ways in which the police frequently lie to people who are suspected of crimes or who are in custody. Number one, false evidence. The police can tell you they have evidence that they don't actually have. They'll say, you left DNA on the crime scene, we have fingerprints, we have eyewitnesses, we have the testimony of a co-conspirator or co-defendant. Um, they'll tell you anything about the evidence that they have and they can lie to you about any of it. Number two, exaggerated consequences. The police might exaggerate the consequences that you face and basically use that to coerce a confession and say, you know, if you confess now, the consequences won't be as bad. Number three, pretending to be your friend. This is a super common one. Oh, they'll find ways to bond with you, to pretend to be your friend. Do you want a Coca-Cola? Do you want a candy bar? Oh, I'm just your buddy. I'm here to help you out. They'll even tell you that they can help you out of this bad situation if you just cooperate with them, that they're really here to help you, that they're the only ones who care about you and who want to hear your side of the story. Four, lying during interrogation about other people who might have been involved in the crime. They'll say, oh, your friend already confessed. They already told us everything. They already told us your involvement in it. So you may as well just confess now. And they'll say this regardless of whether or not that person has said anything or whether there's any evidence linking you to any alleged crime. And finally, number five, creating false urgency. Even when there's no real need for urgency, the police will often be like, listen, we gotta wrap this up quickly. If you want our help, like you gotta tell us what really happened because like this is, it's imminent and it's imminent. You know, wow, you gotta go to court. Oh, we gotta do this. You know, and they'll, they'll really put this time pressure on you that doesn't exist. All of this to say you have rights, you have the right to remain silent and you need to use it. So never believe anything the cops tell you. Say, I'd like to speak to my attorney. I will not speak without my attorney present and end the conversation. Just shut up, don't say another word, nothing, no matter what they promise you or what they say to you or what they threaten you with. Okay, if you leave questions in the comments, like and follow for more and please share with anyone you can.